You ever get that feeling where it's just like impossible to turn your music off because you're just jamming so hard? For today's No Makeup Monday, it's yet another controversial one. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself because it, I always do this. With who I am as a person, I'm just very open. I'm a, a complete open book to everyone and that is somewhat difficult and could be like damaging to me in a way because I am so open but I mean I wouldn't have it any other way personally. So today I'm going to talk about religion and this is like a very deep subject for a lot of people. A lot of people feel passionate about this and I feel passionate about my beliefs. However, I just want to start off by saying that I am in no way any kind of person to shame any other one person for their religion or their beliefs at all. I love listening to people and what they believe in. You know, a lot of people in my life are religious or do believe in God or are Christian, so I completely respect all religions. So I'm just hoping for a little bit of that inkling of respect back if possible. And it's totally cool if you disagree with me or you want to share your beliefs in the comments or anything like that, but just respect my beliefs as what they are. We have freedom of religion here in the United States and we're so lucky to have that and I'm so grateful. So I just wanted to throw those disclaimers out there because I am an atheist. Now I've been an atheist for 11 years now and I'm very open about it to everyone that I meet pretty much. It's not like the first thing I say but you know people, all my friends know about it and they kind of know of my journey and you guys don't really know of my journey and I thought before I do any kind of video on atheism because originally this video was going to be how I'm going to raise my children if I have kids because I am a vegetarian and an atheist and both of those things I believe are super like strong things to have, you know, like believe in and a lifestyle choice. So I wanted to address like, you know, my thoughts on raising kids when you are a certain way. But I thought I would preface the whole thing because I never really told you guys. I mean, you guys know I'm an atheist, but I wanted to do more atheism videos because I think it gets a really bad rap because of some people are just so aggressive about it. But we're really not bad people and we're not you know, Satanists, which I don't know why they even go hand in hand. Atheists means no religion, no God. Satanism, they obviously worship Satan. So I don't know why they're always compared. <laughs> People think that we have no morals or we don't make good decisions or anything like that. But I genuinely think that I'm a pretty decent person and I'm an atheist and have been for years. So it all started back when I was younger. I never really went to church. My parents never went to church. I've been to church a few times. And honestly, the most recent time I can think of, I believe I was like 19 or 20 or something like that. That. And I went with my friend because she asked me to go with her to church and honestly, it was a horrible experience I don't like church at all. I don't like going and I believe I'm fair to say that if it works for you By all means go to church every week. I felt like an outcast. I didn't fit in I was an atheist at the time So obviously I didn't fit in I felt like people could tell that about me, which is stupid They can't my parents did raise me Christian for the most part my mom more so than my dad My mom is a lot more religious. My mom prays on a regular basis and and she honestly is sad that I am an atheist. She hopes one day that I will come around <laughs> and believe in God once more. So she thinks it's kind of a phase, but I'm like, mom, I've been an atheist for 11 years. I don't think it's a phase. So when I was like 10 through 12, I actually read the Bible a lot. I had like an independent Bible study thing with my neighbor friend and we would read the Bible together. It was short lived, but I remember I got a gift from my grandpa grandpa once and he gave me a book of the story of Jesus and how Jesus died and everything and I remember I was so emotional because it was an audio tape and I would read along with it and I remember going to my mom and crying and you know about the story of Jesus Christ and I think it's all kind of funny how I went from that to where I am now so what changed it all I took a biology class freshman year of high school and that's all it took I actually before I went atheist I was Wiccan I identified as Wiccan my mom completely let me explore that option she basically would support me in any religion other than atheism which technically is not a religion obviously but she just wants me to believe in something you know so after Christianity I was kind of like there I think I believe more in mother nature as a being and as a spiritual entity than I do God. So then I started to worship nature and I was obsessed. I would cry like going on drives in the back seat with my parents. I would bawl my eyes out when I saw pollution. Like I was hardcore into it. I have practiced some spells here and there um, being Wiccan. I that also was very short-lived because as soon as I took a biology class freshman year of high school, that changed my perspective entirely. Now they teach evolution in high school, which I think is a very important thing because regardless if you're religious or not, that to me 
is scientific proof and I think it's really important that we're educated on it now you may have different beliefs as far as well then you might as well teach creationism as well but because that's not rooted in science for me that's rooted in faith I don't think it has anything to do with education those are my beliefs though like I said so as soon as we learned about evolution and stuff I, I just Turned. It was basically overnight I turned into an atheist and I've never looked back since. To this day I still only believe in science. I don't believe in much of the spiritual world at all. You know, I don't believe in karma. I don't believe in soulmates or meant to bees or everything happens for a reason. I don't believe in spirits or auras or, you know, ghosts or anything in the spiritual realm at all. Okay, talking crystals now. There's like a trendy thing happening with crystals, which I have crystals. They're on the table right over there. And have I used them for meditation? Yes. Have I brought them with me to dentist appointments because I'm terrified? Yes. For me, they're more of a comfort than anything spiritual or like energy wise or anything that you think of when you think crystals or meditation and stuff like that. That's not what it is for me. For me, it's an added comfort. It's a connection for me to have with nature, bring some form of nature into my apartment that I won't kill because plants don't survive here. For me, they're just a little added comfort because one thing that I'm lacking that a lot of people who have religion have is something to comfort them. I don't have any form of comfort. When I'm going through something, all I have is myself and to know that I have the strength to do it and to get through it. And sometimes I don't believe I'm strong enough to get through a lot of things. I know why people have religion. If anything, besides the faith and the actual like belief in it, it's a comfort. And I understand why people turn to it so much. I just personally cannot allow myself to do that. I am too deeply rooted in the science realm and I can never believe in something that is bigger than us, I guess. That's basically my little intro into my atheism, where I come from, like why I believe the way I do, and things like that. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Let me know in the comments if you too are an atheist or if you've struggled with that at all, or if people around you have trouble accepting you for it. I'd love for my next atheism video to be kind of more of a QA. and a If you wanna leave some comments down below, or questions rather down below, asking me some questions about my journey or my beliefs or anything like that, I just wanna be here for an open book for you guys and sh hopefully show you that being an atheist is not a bad thing and that we aren't evil, we're not mean, we're not immoral. So I hope this answers some of your guys' questions for now. If you have any more, like I said, leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about my favorite non-horror films. Now, I've been getting an influx of subscribers lately, so hi, hello if you're new here. But I'm obsessed with horror and horror movies specifically, so if you didn't know, I have another channel called Possessed by Horror. I will have a link to it down below as usual. 